Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with one of the tags video. I actually have been tagged from some of my friends and fellow YouTubers. Today I'm gonna do best pre-owned um, luxury item tag and I've been tagged by Jerusha. Hey there! Thank you so much for tagging me. So um, I'm really really sorry that it took me so long actually but as you guys know I'm just a little bit busier than I used to be. So, but today I'm back and I really want to do this tag, so if you're interested to see what I got pre-owned, just keep on watching. I used to have much more um, pre-owned item in my collection. I really bought a few things and I was addicted somehow to get the things pre-owned because I could save money and some of the items I couldn't get anymore in the store. So, I, at this point uh, of my collection, I don't have any many of the um, pre-owned item left. I sold quite a few items, I sold also new items just because I wanted to downsize uh, my collection but I still have uh, here and there you know some items and I just want to show you. I'll go through them one by one and then I will pick just one item that is or that I consider the best pre-owned uh, luxury item. So let's get started. Start with the first item that I have got actually as a gift. I consider this one as a pre-owned item. I have not paid for it, but I still got it. You know, I um, this it's it's you know this is a Cartier belt, and I've been gifted this one from one of my aunts, and she just passed it down to me. Um, I mean, obviously it's. I mean, it's not that, how can I tell? I mean, I didn't bought it by myself and it's been gifted, but I still consider this as a pre-owned item because she got it and then just gave it to me. Um, as you can tell, it's just in red, beautiful, vinyl red um, color. And here in the inside, let me go like this, it says Cartier. And it's a very, very beautiful um, belt actually. And as you can tell, it's just like this. I, it's a size, it's in a size 80. So I'll just show you how this one looks like. Really, really enjoy to have it in my collection. And I do have, I mean, this belt, I have it for, I believe, like 10 years. I just worn it once in one of the events. Um, and yeah, this is very, very beautiful. The next item is this beautiful gold file bag, which is similar like the Kelly bag by Hermes. It's not a Kelly bag. This one is a gold file bag, which is a Germany um, luxury brand. Um, it's actually no longer available. The, the brand um, closed. It was um, it was very very popular in the 40 or 50s. And yeah, they even had a few stores around the world, you know, here in the Europe as well as in US. So this bag is also pre-owned and was, my mom got it pre-owned and then she just gave it to me or we just shared this bag. And I really, really love this bag. I love the bag for the look. I love the bag for, um, that's, that's like a vintage piece and... It's so beautiful, has feet on the bottom and I just added this pom-pom on it and I really, really like as well the color and uh, yeah, I mean it's very, very similar to the um, Kelly bag. I am quite um, sure that this bag has been inspired by the Kelly bag, so yeah. But this is uh, one of the pre-owned bag that I have in my collection and I really, really enjoy to have this one. The next bag I'm going to show you is this beautiful backpack by Louis Vuitton. It's the Monsieurie GM. And as you guys remember, if you follow me for a while, I've got this as well gifted by my aunt or one of the aunts that I have. And she got this bag, I believe, like 15 years ago, even maybe even longer. And when she got it to me, um, the whole leather was completely dark, completely patina, you know. One of the handles was even damaged. So I decided, when she gifted it to me, I decided to clean it up and bring it uh, to Louis Vuitton store to um, replace the whole leather, you know, somehow repair it. And it was a very good investment. So I invested like around seven, eight hundred, eight hundred Swiss francs to replace the whole leather on the back, you know, here on the bottom and then as well here on the back, this piece 
and then the piece here on the straps. I also had to repair this one of the straps because it was kind of, I don't know, it was broken. So I'm really, really happy that I did this and, you know, for me, when I, when I got it back, it was kind of like brand new. Um, still, it's a pre-owned piece um, as far as it comes, you know, like I've been gifted it. So I'm super, super happy for this uh, backpack and I love it. I use it whenever I travel. I use it as well during the day sometimes, you know, when I go to work or just shopping. It's super, super convenient to have a backpack and this one is a very, very beautiful piece. I'm not sure if I can consider this one as a vintage piece. Maybe I could since um, it's... I don't remember when this one has been um, actually released, but it's really long time ago. So yeah, this is also one of the pre-owned pieces that I have in my collection. Next item I'm going to show you is a bracelet by Hermes and it's the Click Clack bracelet in black enamel and gold hardware. And so I really, really wanted one of the bracelets I think it was like three, four years ago. No, actually it was four years ago. So I had one of the Click H or Click Lack. I always forget how this one is called. They have three sizes. One is called Click Lack, one Click H, Click H H. I don't know. I don't remember, guys. So we put down below the right name of this size bracelet. Yeah, well, let's call it Click Lack, okay? So this is a Click Lack bracelet by Hermes. I really, really wanted one badly, but. Um, they are super super expensive and I couldn't afford one or let's say I didn't want to spend that much money you know in, on, on this bracelet uh, to get it brand new in the store so I somehow was super super lucky I was in one of the Facebook group and one of the lady there just you know sold this one uh, in the group and I thought okay this is my uh, occasion this is my opportunity and so I just you know um, got it. So I bought it from her and I'm very very happy. It was brand new actually. It was still with, with the plastic on it um, and it's in my size. It was the black one and it, the, it, it was the right combination. So I saved actually a lot of money because if I would got it new I would have paid like 300 bucks more. So I was really really happy to get this one pre-owned and as you can see I still have it in my collection and I really really enjoy to have this one. Next item I'm going to show you is this beautiful clutch by Louis Vuitton and this one is the Sunset Boulevard clutch in the vernis leather, the color is Pomme d'Amour. Um, this clutch came with this uh, shorter shoulder strap, it came as well with a longer strap. I'm not, sure if, I'm not sure if this bag came with both of the strap or if you had to buy one of the straps, I, don't, I don't, really don't remember. Actually I wasn't even around when this one was released. So I got this one pre-owned in one of the um, pre-owned um, sites, you know. So I was, I mean, this one was a very, very good buy. It was super great purchase. I was with my mom, we were at home and I was just, you know, looking around and then I found this clutch for a, such an amazing price. And in, I think it was a beat, we had, we had to beat, it, it wasn't, um, by directly price it was just a, you had to beat so I put like a limit budget for me you know what I would have paid for this clutch so I just put the um, you know the limit and I somehow won you know the auction and I was so so happy because this was a really really good buy I really enjoyed this bag actually I shared this bag as well with my mom this is one of her favorite clutch whenever she goes out and you know she just wants to bring with her um, like a few cards, um, a lipstick, keys and, you know, um, money, then she, you know, uses this bag. It's very, very beautiful. As you can tell, it comes here with uh, this short, shorter strap. I do have as well some um, longer chain strap that I got off eBay. And when I want to carry this one as a crossbody bag, you know, I just remove this strap, which is, by the way, removable. And then I just add the other um, longer chain. And it's a very, very beautiful clutch. It's a, actually like a wallet of chain. Has some card slots in it. Has a zipper, you know, to store any other um, like money or additional cards. And yeah, this was a very, very good, great purchase. <clears throat> and I really, really love and yeah, happy to have this one in my collection. The next bag I'm going to show you is this beautiful Alma BB in the black epi leather. I got this one as well, pre-owned um, from the same um, pre-owned site. So I 
That was during the time when I got my Alma BB in the Bernie leather. That one I got it in a store and I was super addicted to that bag. I knew I really wanted to get another one so I was stocking, you know, all these sides and I found this one. At the time I got this bag it was three months old, only three months old and this bag came with everything, with all the tags, with dust bag, with the invoice, with box. I mean, it come, it came like I bought it new from the store. I was so happy and I as well was able to save, I believe it was around 300, 400 Swiss francs, I don't remember, but around that range, you know. And that was really a lot of money. I mean, you could buy a, like a pochette with that money, right? So um, this was as well a very, very good purchase um, considering the fact that it was brand new I mean it was just three months old um, no idea why this lady sold the bag I've actually never asked her um, yeah but if the bag has some scratches then only because of me I don't I mean I have a few maybe you can tell a wear and tear here on the bottom on the leather but that's not a big thing you know um, it gets scratched easily because the bottom is a little bit of smooth leather uh, versus this um, epi leather here on the top so it was really really brand new as you can tell here the bottom um, it's still super shiny and brand new um, it comes with silver hardware here the lock it's also super super shiny I'm so happy with this uh, purchase and yeah as you can tell I still have it in my collection and I rock it next bag I'm gonna show you is this beautiful Fendi bag and um, I showed this one, I think, in my um, handbag collection video from last year. So this one is also a pre-owned piece. Um, we got this from another lady um, also a few years ago. I think it was almost 10 years ago when, when not even um, longer. And I still have it in my collection. I, I don't know how old it was when we got the bag. I say we because it was my mom and myself again. We both somehow. And... Um, I do have this one since then in my collection and I really love to wear it. You can really tell that's an old bag because um, there is a lot of wear and tear here on the corner. You can tell that the leather is almost scratched off. Um, you know, you, you, can, you can see underneath, underneath the leather, I don't know if this was trimmed with leather, but underneath you can tell the canvas, you know, the cotton canvas. So yeah, I mean it's super super old, but I really like and it's so convenient, super casual. I like I like this bag a lot and I still wear it, you know. And yeah, so this is my Fendi bag. Last but not least, I want to share with you this beautiful clutch that's by Balmain. Well, it's a Balmain clutch by H&M. When Balmain and H&M collaborated together, um, I. I, I, I don't want to say that I missed that collection, obviously it's, I think it was two years ago, right? Is it two years ago or just one year? Um, well, maybe maybe almost two years, I don't remember, but um, obviously I knew about the collection and I knew about the release date and everything, but I knew as well I wasn't go, you know, to see if I could get something, um, I just, you know, lived it and yeah but then you know when I went online and checked a little bit what was released and I checked the collection it, I just checked out the collection and I really really liked the pieces I somehow thought okay I need to check whatever I can get online on eBay so I went on eBay and I've bought several um, dresses that I want to actually include in this uh, video I just bought you know the velvet dresses I bought the green one and the black one and then I bought another velvet dress I actually bought both of the dresses they had you know the velvet ones and then as well I got this clutch here um, that actually I haven't worn yet but I got this clutch which is it was brand new but I got it pre-owned on uh, eBay and I got this clutch actually actually to match my uh, velvet dress that I got and I I really like this pouch and the zipper is not that smooth I'm not sure if it's not smooth because I did, didn't use it so I have to put a little bit of um, soap on it or you know or wax maybe or oil just however I really really like the clutch I like how it's made and uh, here inside is just a black hole I think you have enough space you know for a card case your mobile phone and lipstick and I like this velvety type of, um, not velvet, it's um, suede. I like this suede type of material. I'm not sure if it's 
real leather maybe it said maybe it should it should be I'm not sure though yeah I'm not quite sure but maybe this is um, real suede leather and then here again you have this shiny type of leather but yeah so I got this one uh, pre-owned uh, well it's it's a brand new pre-owned purchase from eBay do still have one piece um, well it's not my piece it's the piece of my husband he got you know um, travel bag which is the cruiser he got the cruiser in the size 50 also of eBay and I want to include this piece here because obviously it's his piece so not mine but I just wanted to mention that we have as well one of the travel pieces as mentioned in the beginning I had I used to have many more uh, pre-owned um, luxury items a few bags I had a few accessories you know some um, like I had two wallets and you know bags I had also a Gucci bag and then I had a few Louis Vuitton bags but I sold all this item in order to get other items and you know when I can get something pre-loved and it is in a good condition and I really can save a lot of money then I am always you know in the hunt of getting it pre-owned um, other than that I like to experience my um, brand new type of buy situation I like to get my things uh, brand new in the store if I am able to if not obviously um, I'm always for the pre-love market so guys I just want to mention now and show you my best pre-owned luxury item and it is ta -da, ta -da. It's the Alma BB in the black epi leather. I, this bag is it, such a very beautiful bag and it grown on me so, so much. So I'm really, really happy that I was able to get this bag uh, pre-owned uh, but in kind of brand new condition. And I was able to save money and so yeah. Uh, this, is, this is the pre-owned, the best pre-owned luxury item that I picked. And yeah, there you go. Um, let me know uh, what's your best pre-owned luxury item in the comment box below. If you have done a video and I maybe missed it, just let me know um, your name, the name of your channel. I would really, really love to, um, you know, visit your channel and see what's your best pre-owned luxury item. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment box below. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys, and I wish you all a very good day. See you in my next video. Bye!